sharp eye on those pits as you look at Kevin Kogan, who is, for the moment, the leader in the Indianapolis 500. Kevin Kogan experiencing what amounts to a year of redemption. He finally won an oval track race at Phoenix, the first race of the year. He has a new serenity about him this year. It's just a pleasure to deal with this man and has been all month long. All right, let's watch and see how he does with his pit stop. Remember, the bogey time is about a 17-second time. Your point about uh, serenity is great. He told me something. Uh, he said, I always follow through now in a way that I never used to before. If you were with us last week, you saw the videotape replay of the highlights of the 1982 race in which Kogan's car touched off the chain reaction that knocked three cars out of the race before the green flag had even fallen. We asked Kevin Kogan what it was like in 1982 when after the Indianapolis 500, he was booed at various other tracks around the circuit. It wasn't pleasant. I, I went to some places, uh, uh, for instance, Michigan, which was owned by Roger Penske and the, the 500 there. And, and when they did the driver introductions, I don't know how many people were in the stands, if 70 or 90,000, but I'd say 99% uh, of them jumped up and booed and fairly loudly, you know, it was, it was a part, it's an amazing feeling. I, don't, I think unless you've had 90,000 people boo you, it's hard to really appreciate what that feels like. There is Al Unser Jr. In